Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is John with Embers Ball Pythons. I just want to say thank you for tuning in. Today's video, we're going to actually review this box. It's not just any box. It's one of those light boxes where you can put objects in there, snakes in there, and with the lighting, it just makes everything look so much cleaner and more professional. And we purchased this about a few months ago. We've been testing it out, using it with our collection, and it's been pretty awesome. So we thought we'd just do a video and share our thoughts on it, do a quick review on it, let you guys know what it comes with, how it works, so that if you're interested in something like this for your projects and your collection, uh, maybe we can help you out and get there, right? So uh, you guys know that we're not here for ourselves, we're here for you guys to not only share our passion and love for these animals, but to help you take your ball python knowledge, care, and experience to that next level. So that means this box is definitely gonna be one of those resources or those tools uh, that's gonna help you take your ball python experience to that next level. And so we definitely wanna jump in and check this out. If you have any questions on it, feel free to comment down below or message us. Uh, otherwise, we will put the link uh, on the description below for this product page if you wanna get more reviews on it, more information on it. Uh, definitely check out the link below and it'll take you there. All right guys, let's get right into it. equipment and all the accessories that make up this kit. Uh, so if you remember that large light box that was on the table, it simply broke down and within minutes turned into this nice slim little package that has a carry handle on top and allows you to transport it wherever you want. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature, how easily it breaks down and how quickly we can just put it right back together. So if you're traveling or you want to take pictures in a different room or a buddy's house, whatever it is, easy to take with you. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so another part of this package is the light bars. It comes with two light bars that are adjustable. Once you have the box built, you can put it in different angles, different positions to work with your lighting. Uh, it's all LED, so they have plenty of LED power. And what's cool about this, uh, this particular light box is that you can set it from a more cooler temperature all the way to a warmer temperature with the different Kelvins, right? So if you wanna work with cool pictures or warmer style pictures and anything in between, you have that option. It all connects and is controlled by a little remote. Uh, once you have it connected, uh, you can set it where it's cool temperatures, warm temperatures, and then you can adjust it or dim it down to very dim light or bright light. So I thought that was awesome. Depending on uh, the environment or what kind of style picture I'm looking for, I'll set it to different temperatures, different brightness, stuff like that. So after you have the lights in place, it also comes with this really cool little bib in case you go out to eat and don't make a mess. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's just a light diffuser. This goes inside the box covering the lights so that when the lights are beaming down on your snake or your object, then it's just kind of diffusing all the light, making it look smoother, makes, makes it look nicer. It's not as harsh on the object. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature, nice addition that it came with. and your backdrops. This kit in particular came with, I believe, seven uh, that I'll show you here in a second, different colors. Uh, the material of the backdrops is pretty nice. It's a, like more of a plastic, uh, stiffer material, not paper. Uh, so it looks like it's gonna last a long time. It doesn't collect dust very easily. It doesn't have any creases or anything weird to it. Uh, so I think it's uh, gonna work out really nice uh, for what we're trying to accomplish here. The first one is white, nice, classic, clean backdrop. The next one being a very nice looking blue. I like to use these with the snakes from time to time because the contrast just makes it very, uh, very alive, very fresh looking, and I definitely like how it looks. Uh, then you have a nice neutral gray color. And of course you have a nice bold red, nice and rich. You have an option for like a creamy looking beige or khaki. And of course, your nice dark black background, which is also one of my favorites to work with. 
uh, when you want that nice contrast with your animals. So if you remember not too long ago, we put a video on YouTube on identifying our first clutch of ball pythons, right? If, uh, if you don't remember, we'll put the link somewhere up here so that you guys can go back and watch it. But we had a lot of footage using this light box. I think we used the white backdrop and we were just showing you guys each ball python and helping to identify what they what genes were in them, right? And uh, I think the colors and the patterns and everything showed so nicely inside the box when I was filming. Um, I've been taking a lot of pictures in there. It was, just, it was really clean and really cool to see how easy it was to share uh, the true color and patterns of the animals inside this box. Uh, and I think in a marketing aspect for us, it helped us sell the animals so quickly once they went on Morph Market. Uh, I mean, they kind of sold themselves within like 30 minutes. It was pretty awesome. And I think it just takes the quality of your images and the quality of your marketing to that next level. So I think it's definitely paid for itself and uh, a really cool kit to, to have uh, as a resource. Uh, but beyond that, let's get right into building the box back up. I'll show you guys how that looks like. Um, so with this box, you have the main, the main panels here and they kind of unfold. So you start to open this up kind of unravel it all the way and then you have your sides that pop right out so you can see one side here one side there and then you basically take it and kind of just fold it into place so you put one panel up the other panel up and then this becomes the the top of it and it also has like a little the front cover put it down and that's it. There you have it, guys. You have you have your box. I'll put this back where it was here in the side. You have this little extra piece to cover it all up. Seals nicely. And as simple as that. You saw how quickly that went up. Obviously, I still have to put the lights in, and you can put the diffuser in your panels. So we'll show you that next, but. When it comes to taking it apart, putting it together, really simple. Open this up. I just fold that down. Put it back down on the table. One panel, two panels. Put the lid back in. Close that. And close that. Voila. <laughs> All right, so let's do it one more time. We'll open it up. Just unfold everything. Take one panel, open the other panel, right? Once I have that in place, you can easily just close it in on the bottom, take the lid, put it on top. And how it's attaching to itself, it's all Velcro edged. It has a stiff border all the way around and the Velcro attaches to itself. So now you have everything kind of working to, uh, to work to, everything working together to make sure it stays put. It's not, it's not falling apart on you as you do this. Um, so to put the lights back on, you just kind of take the lid off. Once you have the lights connected by simple wires, and it connects to the remote, the remote connects to the AC outlet, then you have these little clips here on the side that you easily just put wherever you want along the box. All right, so I like to put one in the back, press that in place, you angle it however you want, and from there, grab the other one. The other one sometimes I'll put on the top as well or towards the side here to get better, uh, better angles and stuff. But for the video, we'll just put it here on top. All right, so lights are in place. Get everything out of the way. Close the lid once again. Close the front. over to the side so you guys can see it. All right, so we have everything locked in together. Open up the front so you guys can see that. Hit the remote, power on, and voila, you have your light box. Uh, with the remote, you have different options to go from super dim to super bright, and then right back down to super dim. All right, if you want to go to uh, the warmer colors, hit the button. And now as I 
change the colors. You can see it's starting to turn more into the yellowish, warmer type lights, uh, which is pretty cool. And then I go back to my colder settings, and you have a super bright light system in there. All right. So right now, the only thing missing that I would put in here is the optional color panels or backgrounds that you want to use. So to do that, once again, I just kind of lift the front up completely. And let's put in a black background. So inside of here, there has little sleeves, one on the bottom, one on the top, that you can use to help lock everything in place. Kind of squeezes right in there. Get the bottom in. All right, and then get the top in. All right, and there you have it. So now you have a black backdrop. Turn the light back on. You can see how that looks in there. Close the lid. Close the window. And also, if I didn't mention it, on the top, there's another little panel that rips off, and that gives you another access point to take footage from the top, get some different angles and unique angles of your snake or of whatever it is you're trying to film, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, so that's another feature for the top. All right. And if you wanted to use the, uh, the light diffuser bib <laughs> type thing, right? so that's another option. Open up your uh, the front again. And it has just little Velcro pieces on all the corners. And inside, it's got little Velcro tabs. So I'm basically just going to put Velcro on all the sides here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just got to... Find Velcro somewhere on the box to hook everything up to. And there you go. Now the light has been diffused. Uh, it's doing its job. It's diffusing everything. It's making it look nice and smooth and clean. Not as harsh or bold uh, because of the lights. works. You saw how easy it was to take it apart, put it back together. You saw the features inside, how the lights work, how they're dimmable, how you can change from different color temperatures. You have the different colored panels and background for your backdrops. Uh, the diffuser, how it connects to the lights to make things look clean. Uh, really cool system, guys. Uh, and just to break down the specific details on which light kit this is, I did pull out my phone because I did order this on Amazon not too long ago. And I just wanna make sure I don't mess things up when I give you guys the specifics. So this is from the Samtian store. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Samtian uh, Photo Studio Light Box. It's a 16 inch box. I, I do think they have a larger one in case you're looking for something bigger. Um, but this is like their, I don't know, small or medium style box that I thought would work perfectly for uh, most ball pythons, especially the hatchling ones that you're, uh, you're mostly gonna be using for this. Um, Professional photo box with 168 LED lamps attached to the lights. Uh, the lights, again, are dimmable, so you can put it super dim or bright. And if there's a range in temperature from 3200 Kelvin all the way up to 5500 Kelvin, um, you choose which temperature you want. So I thought that was pretty cool, and it does come with six background colors. Uh, I think I said seven earlier, my apologies. Uh, six colors that you can use to uh, choose from. And... And yeah, I think that's it. I'll put a link to this product down below in the description. Um, it comes with everything that you need, the manual, the light box, the power adapters, power cords, the background panels, the light dimmers, the uh, LED boards. Oh, it also came with a little like tripod holder for your phone. So if you want to take some phone shots, you have a little tripod holder. That was like a freebie that they threw in there. That was pretty cool. Uh, if you're interested in some of the nerdy specs and stuff like that, uh, the color rendering index, which is 
Usually something you find when you're buying LED lights, you wanna have something that's above 95 in that index uh, number. Don't ask me too many details about this because I don't, that's not my forte. But if you're curious, it does have a color rendering index of above 95. So that is good quality lights from my understanding. Um, power of 24 watts, input 110 to 220 uh, voltage. So nothing crazy, regular type uh, plug and play kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and that's it guys. That's all I have for the specifics. And again, I'll put the link down in the description if you want to go look at the reviews or check it out for yourselves. But I truly think this is something that will help you take your, your ball python experience and your marketing and everything else that you're trying to accomplish with your operations to that next level. And I can't say you know anything negative about this box so far. All right, and that's it guys. So if you have any questions on this product, again, feel free to comment below or get on Instagram and message us. We'll be happy to answer any questions. Uh, but. You saw how awesome it works. It has, we have no complaints so far utilizing this light box. Uh, description will be below. Until next time guys, uh, be safe, be blessed, take care of each other, and we'll see you soon.